us know that he has done something for us. And now we have become grateful. And so this is good to be in agreement to God's goodness. Because he's been good to all of us. And even when we didn't deserve the goodness of God, he gave it anyhow. Yes, he did it in the He provided it in the And so we're glad, we're glad that there are many who can witness to that soul and testify of the goodness of God. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Yes. God bless you. Yes. Yeah, it is well. Yes, well, our souls together. Yes. Yeah, we got to praise God for right now. Yes. 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 We do continue to thank God for our choir today. How they have blessed us. How they have ministered that of sin. And so we praise God. There has been one great song after another. Yes, yes. And I'm glad we could relate to it. Yes, yes. So we praise the Lord for bringing us to this point uh, because we know it is time that we would now preach the word of God unto you that you can also be blessed more because I assure you that God's word has those desires to bless you, to meet where you are, to give you answers, to encourage. And we know God's word is quick and powerful. And so we do stand now ready to go before you and preach his word. But let us uh, just bow now for our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for bringing us to this time. We thank you for how you have allowed us to worship you, O oh Lord, to have a spirit today that brought ease to us. And so, Father God, we thank you. We do pray now in your name that you will continue now to bless, even as we must do your will. And so give us the power and let your word go forth now. And it will accomplish your purpose. It will convince those that may not believe. And so, Father God, we pray you do these things. And we'll give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Again, we thank our God today. At this time, we would like to direct your attention to the gospel according to John chapter 6. Look at verses 66 through 69, which is a familiar passage of scripture. John, the sixth chapter, looking at verse 66, and we will end at 69. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are assured that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. And today, by way of a thought, we would like to use this subject today. Lord, you're all we need. Amen. 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 Yes. I believe. I believe that is about as simple as we can get. Lord, you're all we need. My brothers and sisters, I am impressed with this particular text today because it comes at a time beginning at this sixth chapter. Uh, we saw where Jesus had just recently fed the 5,000. We know that that was one of his most powerful miracles because he took 
two fish, uh, five barley loaves of bread, uh, a lunch that some Texas will prove as being a little boy's meal. But Jesus being who he is and having the power that he possessed, we learn from this particular miracle that through him all things are possible. Because my mind still really is disturbed that someone in disbelief, how he can take two fish and five loaves, feed 5,000 besides women and children. And I must add that because the number really goes greater than the 5,000 men. Amen. But the fact is, it just reminds us of who Jesus is. And so, just sharing that miracle, Jesus now had a multitude of followers who were following him, even traveling where he would travel. And when Jesus, at this point, decided to just do a discussion of the kingdom and about things relating to them following him, we learn at the present text that when they heard what he said, this is where many decided not to follow him no more. And I find that quite strange because you don't witness one of the greatest miracles that you probably will ever see in your life, which ought to bear proof to us that this was no ordinary man. But you'd be surprised that some people will just follow a person or follow whatever's going on just to see what they can get out of it. And many of them only follow Jesus because he fed them. And so now when Jesus talks about the things relating to him and who he is, it brought a problem to these same ones who followed him. Because Jesus said that he was of the Father, and when he talked about him being of the Father, it offended some. Because they could not believe that this man who stood before us can still be who he said he is and who he came from. And so one of the things in verse 66, because it, and I'm glad John included this because it ought to get our attention that people decided to leave. And as John placed it, walk no more with him. And, and, and that's what it says because when you say walk no more, that means they weren't coming back. They had heard what they wanted to hear, got what they wanted to get, and so now they were satisfied and they decided that we no longer want to follow him. And I don't care what you say is a dangerous thing yes, to reject the Lord. Yes. Especially when he does something for you. Yes. And there are many people in this present age who God has blessed yes, and they have heard had the nerve to forget it was God yes. who did it for them. Yes. And they fall in that group in verse 66 that decided, I don't want to be no follower no more. Because he said some things that I didn't think that this was the following was all about. And so when they heard him say in verse 65 of that text, he says, Therefore say I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. And so somebody got offended that Jesus said he was the father's son. Because how could this be? Because how could this man who is of God claim to be from God and now stands before us telling us that the only way y'all could come to me except the Lord, who's my father, has okayed it. And so they decided that we heard enough. And so it's time for us to leave. Because see, some believe the fact that they deserted him because they realized that Jesus wasn't going to conquer the, the present government. They thought he was going to be this conquering Messiah King who would now come along and destroy all the enemies and now lead their king. But this was not the case of why he came. And then his teachings were difficult to understand 
And some of his words they felt were offensive. And so many didn't want to follow no more because they really didn't like what they heard. But now here comes Jesus presenting the question to his 12. And you know the 12 were the closest ones to Jesus than anybody besides Mary on earth. And so now Jesus, as he had done with them before in Matthew 16, Amen. When he had asked him the question, whom do men say that I am? So you know how the story went. He heard various responses. Some say you're Jeremiah. Some say you're Elijah. You even John the Baptist. One of those prophets. And so Jesus hears these responses. And now he does what he does in verse 67. He now says to them in Matthew 16, who do you say that I am? And here's Peter according to the same text. Peter simply said this. He said that thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And, and so now isn't it strange and interesting that John has another record in the text where Jesus imposes another question. Now he says it like this. Will you also go away? Now the master was curious because I believe he wanted to know personally, brother, why are you really following me? I know I called you Peter and Andrew and John and, and, and all of y'all when y'all were fishermen. And I told y'all, listen, I want you now to become fishers of men. You know, drop your fishing poles and your nets and follow me. And if Matthew, if you want to talk, I, I caught you at the receiving custom. When you were a tax collector, and I told you to stop doing that and follow me. But, but when you look at where we are in the text, Jesus again gets personal. And he just asks the question, will you also go away? And I wonder in the house today, how many of us are really like the song that was sung earlier? Are we really sold out? You know, I, 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 I find it strange in the church. There's a lot of lip service. And, and God ain't excited over lip service. God is really excited on service he sees. Not service he hears. And, and Jesus in the text, brothers and sisters, he went forth to put this question now to his own. And here comes Peter. Amen. And thank God for a brother like Peter. Because I don't care. There's always somebody in the group. They're always going to speak. I don't care if they know what to say right or wrong. They're going to say something. And Peter, and thank God that the Lord could use him. Peter, in this text, came to this conclusion. He says, Lord, to whom shall we go? That's the first thing I see. He says, who else is there? Y'all, you have convinced us, Lord, that you are the Christ. You the Son of God. You, you, we have walked with you, Master. We have slept with you. We have, you have fed us. We have witnessed your miracles. And who else can we go to? And so Peter says it correctly. Because he really is saying in so many words, Lord, you all we need. Amen. Brothers and sisters, when you examine it yourself, think about your life. If you didn't have the Lord, who else could you go to? Oh, yes, you might say I can go to a family friend. I can go to my spouse, go to my preacher. But listen, we all need the Lord. And somebody we know we can go to. And, and, and I'm glad that Peter was the spokesman here because he brought the questions back to the Lord himself. He said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Who else really is there for us to turn to? We have committed our all to you. And so why would we come this far with you, Master, and now turn around? Anybody ever thought about that? The Lord has brought you this far. Why do you want to turn around? Because the road, listen, the going and the after looks tough for you. 
You listen, uh, heels done got a little higher. But I want to let you know if you got him on your side, he'll let you make it. And, and, and I'm glad Peter realized the fact that I don't know who else I can go to. And so Peter goes on to let us understand that secondly, if we're going to know who else there is, we got to realize that who else has what we need. It's right there in the text because look at what Peter said. He said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Because thou hast the words of eternal life. And I ain't heard nobody else around, Master, who has these words but you. And I know there's some others who try to perpetrate being like you, but we are convinced that you hold the key to our eternal life. And, and, and I'm glad that Peter came to the realization that the Lord has what they need. And do anybody know today that he has what you need? And I may, let me make it clear what you need. Not what you lusting or desiring for. God has what you need. And, and we need to understand that he is Lord of all that we need. And I'm glad that, that Peter sees here in the text that I am convinced, Master, that you have the words of eternal life. Why did he say that? Well, he realized that the only way he could be saved was through Jesus. And do anybody know that he is still the way? He's the truth and the life. Listen, there's no other way than Jesus. And you can search far and near if you want to. You can go high and low, but remember, he is all that we need. And he certainly has what we need because what other means can eternal life come? You can't save yourself. You certainly can't, amen, do what he did. But he is the one, as Peter declares, whom we should go to. The one that has the words of eternal life. And finally, I see that who else can we believe? In? And this is what Peter asks us by saying, and we believe. And you got to shout on this part and are sure. I wonder in the day, in anybody in the house today can say you believe and you're sure. He said it so in a way that it even convinced me that he knew what he was talking about. Because if you are going to follow the Lord, you got to believe in the one that you follow. And you got to be assured in your own mind that he is who he say he is. And I'm glad that Peter declares that thou art that Christ, the son of the living God. And I'm glad that Peter had this divine revelation that who stood before him was indeed the Christ, the son of the living God. We didn't have a man, no copycat before us, but we had the original, who is indeed the son of the living God. And I want to let you know, brothers and sisters, the Lord is all we need. Don't fool yourself, because everything you need is in him. I dare anybody to try it and see for yourself. Listen, you, if you do this, just let Jesus sit aside for a while. And let him say, let him see you trying to go on by yourself. And I declare you won't get very far. But the, the, the conclusion of the matter is that you all need him. Yeah. You need him in your life. Yeah. And that's why I want to let you know the Lord is all we need. Yeah. Especially to make it in this life. Yeah. These disciples were proof of the fact yeah. that they had followed somebody that they accepted as being the son of God. That they accepted as being the one who could provide what they need. And I'm glad that when the question was put to them, uh, that why would you also leave me? But Peter had to speak for the other 11 disciples. He had to let it be proven to the master. Uh, who else can we go to? We realize that you are the one. The one that God sent from heaven. 
And I wonder in the house today, uh, is there anybody here? Uh, no, without a doubt, uh, that the Lord is who you need. Uh, you think about it today. Uh, how did you get this far? Uh, you didn't do it on your own. No. But there had to be an unseen presence uh, that was there with you all along. Uh, and I hope today you are convinced uh, that Jesus is real. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, Jesus is the son of the living God. Uh, and I'm glad that he is. Uh, because when I need somebody uh, that I can call on, uh, I call on Jesus. Uh, when I need somebody uh, to understand, uh, I call on Jesus. Uh, when I need somebody uh, to heal me when I'm sick, uh, I call on Jesus. Uh, when I need somebody uh, to pick me up uh, when I get down, uh, I call on Jesus. Uh, am I talking to somebody? Uh, somebody today, uh, I am realizing your mind uh, that the Lord is all you need. Uh, and I'm glad Peter uh, could tell us today uh, that we are convinced. Uh, we believe in our minds. Uh, we are assured. Uh, we've seen enough proof uh, to realize that Jesus uh, is real. Uh, that Jesus uh, is the Son uh, of the living God. Uh, I wonder today, uh, do you know there's a God uh, who is alive? Uh, oh, yes, he is. Uh, He's the reason uh, we came together. Uh, he's the reason uh, we are alive today. Uh, he's the reason uh, we have food on the table. Uh, he's the reason uh, we got shelter uh, over our heads. Uh, and I'm glad uh, when I think about him, uh, when I think what he's done uh, to my life. Uh, don't let me be personal, uh, but I know there's some saints uh, who can testify uh, that God has been good to you uh, in the all right uh, I'm just convinced uh, this God I serve uh, I know too much uh, about him uh, he brought me too far uh, when I couldn't take care of myself uh, God was right there uh, rocking me uh, when I got weary uh, picking me up uh, when I was about to fall out uh, Today, uh, can somebody uh, in the house uh, appreciate uh, the God we serve? Uh, he's a good God. Uh, ain't he good? Uh, has he been good to you? Uh, has he took care of you? Uh, has he healed you uh, when you were sick? Uh, when you were down? Uh, did he raise you up? Uh, ain't he all right? Uh, I'm just convinced uh, by the report of the text uh, when I think personally uh, about what Peter says. Uh, I say to myself, uh, who else uh, can I go to? Uh, nobody uh, but the Lord uh, who can do it for me. Uh, who has he done it for you? Uh, do you know him? Uh, has he been in your life? Uh, has he been around your door? Uh, did he wake you up this morning? Uh, did he put strength in your body? Uh, It was posed. Uh, will you leave me? Uh, somebody said uh, we can't go love uh, because we know too much about you. Uh, you brought us uh, from a long way. Uh, you kept us uh, when we couldn't do ourselves. Uh, you were there uh, making a way uh, and I got to remind somebody uh, he is uh, a way maker. Uh, he is uh, a provider. Uh, he is a uh, Rock when you're weary, uh, he is uh, your doctor, uh, he is uh, your problem solver, uh, and you're all right, uh, well, uh, I got to leave you, uh, but I want somebody uh, to know in your mind, uh, all you need uh, is the Lord, uh, what you need uh, is all in him, uh, it is a job, uh, he's got it, uh, it is a whole He's got it up uh, in the food. Uh, the Lord's got it up uh, in his good health. Uh, the Lord's got it up uh, in his peace. Uh, the Lord's got it up uh, in his love. Uh, the Lord's got it up. Uh, I got a new son. Oh, yeah, son. He got it all up uh, in his hands. Uh, it's in his hands. It's a mighty hand. Uh, I put it all up. Uh, what about you? Uh, in his hands. Uh, Cause I found out. Uh, when I put it in 
was dead. And uh, he even worked it out. Uh, what do you do with us? What do you do with us? He'll do it for you. If you put it in his hand, that's a fact. God can do it. What he do with us? He'll be all right. Yeah. My soul is happy today. I got somebody I can lean on. I got somebody that can keep me from falling. I got somebody that can put his hands on me and tell me, son, it's going to be all right. When are we out? What about you? Don't let me be selfish. There ought to be some saints who can boast about it. There ought to be some saints who can tell their story. There ought to be some saints who can shout because he's done something for you. He's all right. He's all right. His grace is sufficient. Listen, his strength. Oh, I love that part. It's made perfect in our weaknesses. I don't know about you, but I'm glad God has enough for me. Has he had enough for you? Amen. He ought to have enough for you. That when we got Jesus, we don't need nobody else. Long as I got him, I love that song. Long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. Because he's going to get enough for me. Has he been enough for you? Don't fool me right now. Brother, is he enough for you? Sisters, is he enough for you? Preachers, is he enough for you? Choir, is he enough for you? Saints, is he enough for you? And I am convinced that he is the Christ. You need to be convinced. Mama didn't have to convince me. Daddy didn't have to convince me. The Lord convinced me himself. Because I know him for myself. And I'm glad that I know him. I'm glad I am assured of who he is. Ain't nobody make me think no difference. I'm like you. Then thou art the Christ. The son of the where else can I go to? You all that I need. Amen. God bless you, saints. But you take that with you today. Lord, you all we need.